Its 36-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out anomalous cosmic rays and new plasmas, to boldly go where no probe has gone before. The twin Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft are still operating and travelling where no spacecraft or anything touched by humanity has gone before. These probes have not only provided invaluable data, but have also paved the way for future NASA missions. Missions like Galileo, Juno and Cassini, which explored Jupiter and Saturn, owe their origins to the scientific breakthroughs made by Voyager. For instance, the Voyager's data revealed the turbulent atmosphere of Jupiter, leading to Juno's close-range observations of the planet's storms, uncovering Earth-sized cyclones at its polar caps. Initially designed to last five years, the Voyager probes have defied all estimates and continue to operate. However, their recent discovery has taken their mission to a whole new level. Voyager 1 recently detected unidentified objects passing through space and this revelation has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. Join us as we delve into the nature of these unknown objects and explore how this discovery may forever change our perspective on the information gathered by the Voyager spacecraft. Over the past few years, our focus has primarily been on analyzing data from within our solar system. However, thanks to Voyager 1, we now have access to valuable data from beyond the solar system. In August 2012, Voyager 1 officially crossed the heliopause, marking its entry into interstellar space. Yet this milestone was not without challenges. As the spacecraft moved farther away from the Sun, the amount of sunlight available to power its instruments diminished significantly. Voyager 1 relies on three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, to generate power. These generators convert the heat produced by the natural decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. However, over time, the declining heat output of the RTGs has led to a reduction in available power. This power decrease impacts the functioning of various systems on board, including scientific instruments, data transmission and communication capabilities. To conserve energy, non-essential systems and instruments have been deactivated or put into a dormant state. As the power continues to decline, critical systems may require further optimization or even shut down to extend the operational lifespan of Voyager 1. However, even with these measures, the spacecraft's ability to function is reaching its limits. Furthermore, the vast distance between Voyager 1 and Earth poses a significant challenge in maintaining effective communication. The weakening signal strength and background noise interference make data transmission and reception increasingly difficult. Additionally, transitioning from the heliosphere to interstellar space exposes Voyager 1 to extreme temperature variations. These temperature extremes can impact the spacecraft's materials, electronic components and overall system integrity. The temperature variations experienced in interstellar space also have an impact on the performance of the RTGs, which have specific thermal operating ranges. As the RTGs cool down, their power output decreases, adding to the power challenges mentioned earlier. However, the challenges don't stop there. Interstellar space is not completely devoid of matter. It contains a sparse distribution of dust particles. Despite their tiny size, these particles can pose a risk to the Voyager 1 spacecraft. When the spacecraft encounters interstellar dust, the particles can collide with its exterior surfaces, leading to wear and tear on protective coatings, antenna surfaces and other sensitive areas. The accumulation of dust on the instrument's optics or sensors can interfere with their functionality, resulting in a degradation of data quality. To address this, Voyager 1 is equipped with a dust detector instrument designed to measure the density of interstellar dust. Furthermore, the Deep Space Network, NASA's network of antennas for communicating with deep space missions, has to allocate limited resources to receive Voyager 1 signals. This means that communication opportunities are now much more infrequent than before. The continuous decrease in signal strength adds to the challenges of retrieving data and transmitting reliable commands. Nevertheless, every piece of information received from Voyager 1 is carefully analysed, regardless of how unconventional or extraordinary it may seem. 
Recently, amidst the continuous stream of data, Voyager 1 made a captivating discovery, an intriguing anomaly. Within the transmission, there were numerous signals, many of which were difficult to decipher. However, one signal stood out. It indicated the presence of 350 unknown objects traversing through the cosmic expanse. The emergence of these enigmatic entities from the depths of interstellar space left scientists worldwide perplexed. The discovery of these 350 unidentified objects challenges our current understanding of the cosmos. Could they be remnants of ancient celestial bodies or drifting relics from distant star systems? Or do they signify the existence of previously unknown phenomena, uncharted realms awaiting exploration? Interestingly, the data transmitted by Voyager 1 was scrambled, adding to the mystery. While numerous questions arose, answers were elusive. Yet an even stranger aspect unfolded. Despite the peculiar nature of the transmitted data, Voyager 1 itself remained seemingly unaffected, operating in remarkable condition. Its communication link with Earth remained intact and the signal retained its strength, allowing valuable information to be transmitted to NASA without significant issues. Curiously, none of the spacecraft's fault protection systems were triggered, indicating that it hadn't entered a protective safe mode as it would under normal circumstances if it detected any threats. This ruled out the possibility of Voyager 1 being under attack. So what could be causing the telemetry data to appear scrambled or inaccurate? Could it be interference from external cosmic phenomena such as radiation or high energy particles? Or was it completely unknown phenomena at play? If it was the latter, it would challenge our understanding of space and communication within the interstellar realm. To unravel the truth, the NASA research team meticulously analyzed a vast array of potential factors. They examined the spacecraft's systems, considering the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting the stability of its sensitive instruments. Each piece of information was scrutinized to uncover the cause of the scrambled data, shedding light on this intriguing anomaly. It was speculated that some events occurred just before Voyager 1 reached the heliosphere, which might have caused the data scrambling. However, the puzzling aspect was that the spacecraft wasn't precisely in the region where these events were concentrated enough to pose a significant threat. Consequently, the team delved into a detailed examination of Voyager 1's communication systems, investigating potential signal distortions caused by cosmic noise interference or even subtle shifts in its trajectory. In the quest for answers, the team meticulously analyzed various potential factors. They carefully scrutinized the spacecraft's systems, considering the impact of cosmic radiation on electronic components and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting the stability of its sensitive instruments. Adding to the intrigue, a similar incident occurred last year with Voyager 1. In that case, the root cause was traced back to the spacecraft's Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS, specifically an unexpected source, an inactive onboard computer. Once the source of the problem was identified, engineers swiftly devised a solution. They sent a command to Voyager 1, directing the AACS system to switch to the correct computer for transmitting telemetry data. Although the fix carried relatively low risk, it required great patience due to the substantial time delay caused by the vast distance between Earth and Voyager 1. Radio signals took nearly 21 hours to travel back and forth, demanding meticulous coordination throughout the troubleshooting process. Now let's turn our attention back to the heliopause. The heliopause is a boundary that demarcates the outermost region of our solar system. It signifies the point where the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the sun, meets the interstellar medium. Positioned approximately 123 astronomical units away from the Sun, equivalent to an astonishing 11 billion miles, the heliopause is a remarkable distance from our star. The shape of the heliopause is not fixed, but rather subject to fluctuations influenced by the interstellar gas wind caused by the Sun's motion through space. As the Sun travels, it creates a magnetic bubble or foam within this boundary shaping the outer region of the heliosphere, which is the space influenced by the Sun's magnetic field and energetic particles. This magnetic foam contributes to the complex structure and behavior of the heliopause. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, 
several significant changes occurred. Firstly, there was a noticeable decrease in the temperature of the charged particles in the solar wind. This temperature drop arises as the spacecraft moves beyond the direct influence of the sun's emissions. Such a drop alone can render most spacecraft inoperable. However, Voyager 1, despite not being specifically designed to venture that far, continued to operate successfully. Furthermore, there was a shift in the direction of the magnetic field, reflecting the altered influence of interstellar magnetic forces. Additionally, the presence of galactic cosmic rays, high-energy particles originating from distant cosmic sources, significantly increased. These cosmic rays become more prominent beyond the heliopause, but start to appear in greater numbers just before reaching it. As the first of the twin spacecrafts to reach this momentous milestone, Voyager 1 provided humanity with its initial glimpse into the unexplored realms beyond the heliopause. It shed light on the enigmatic transition from the Sun's domain to the vast expanse of deep space. In November 2018, Voyager 2 achieved a significant milestone by crossing the heliopause and venturing into interstellar space, following in the footsteps of its predecessor, Voyager 1. This momentous event marked a new phase in our understanding of the boundary between the Sun's domain and the vast interstellar medium. Voyager 2's journey beyond the heliopause presented scientists with a valuable opportunity to compare and analyse the observations made by both spacecrafts, deepening our knowledge of this celestial frontier. As Voyager 2 traversed into interstellar space, it made fascinating discoveries that expanded our understanding of this uncharted region. One notable finding was the sharp decline in the intensity of low-energy ions, a direct consequence of leaving the direct influence of the Sun's emissions. Simultaneously, Voyager 2 detected an increase in the intensity of cosmic rays, high-energy particles originating from distant cosmic sources. Unlike Voyager 1, which encountered precursor events preceding its exit from the heliosphere, Voyager 2 revealed the presence of a distinct boundary layer just beyond the heliopause. Within this boundary layer, low-energy particles streamed outward along the Milky Way, offering insights into the intricate dynamics occurring at the interface between our solar system and the broader interstellar medium. This unexpected discovery emphasised the complex nature of the interstellar boundary and the challenges it presents. The differing experiences of Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 underscore the difficulty in predicting and understanding the conditions in this region. Such uncertainties raise questions about the feasibility and risks associated with future spacecraft venturing into interstellar space. Is NASA willing to invest significant resources and take the potential risks, knowing that outcomes may not be guaranteed? Now, we invite you to share your thoughts on these discoveries in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for our upcoming content.